Hello everybody, this is Alan with HeadphoneReviewHQ.com and today I'm bringing you a review of the Audio-Technica ATH ANC-1 noise cancelling headphones. I'm going to start off my review a little bit differently this time than I normally do and I may actually start following this format. I'm going to give you my kind of closing thoughts at the beginning here and then that way people who are just interested in whether or not I like them, they can get that out of the way real quick and then I'll get into the details afterwards. So let's quickly go over the pros and cons of the ANC ones. One, they have a very audiophile sounding quality to them. From the bass to the mids to the treble, everything is extremely accurate, articulate, detailed, and smooth. They do have a very lovely sound. Two, they're extremely portable. They fold down. You can pack them up. They come with a little carry case so you can throw them in a bag and you can be on your way. Very nice. They also don't have to be turned on in order for them to work. Unlike most noise canceling headphones, you can actually leave this off. Now you lose a little bit of bass, or actually quite a bit of bass, but you'll still be able to get sound out of them, so that's a plus. Now the cons of the ANC ones. One, they are noise canceling headphones, but in my, in my trials, I didn't find that they actually did cancel out that much noise. The other con is the bass. While the bass is accurate, it can't take a ton of punch. These are not made for your rap, hip hop, dubstep, anything like that. So again, small con, you just have to know what you're going to use them with. Genres that work well with the ANC ones are things like classical, jazz, uh, any kind of vocalist, maybe big bands, things that are typical instrument driven or vocals or even have a decent amount of treble and presence in them. These do a, an absolute wonderful job with those. Now, genres such as dubstep, hip hop, rock, anything like that where bass is like the driving factor and maybe even just driving beats, these are not going to be your cup of tea. So as long as you know what you have in mind, these can be an absolutely wonderful set of headphones to listen to. Let's talk about the build quality of the ANC ones. These are pretty sturdy for being such a small set of headphones. They have, a, they have a decent amount of clamp to them. Uh, the, the part where the ear pads are, they feel a little bit flimsy, but they stick in place very well. The, they actually click into place wonderfully and they stay tight. On the left ear cup, there's a little dot there so that you can feel in the dark or if you're in a place where you can't see very well, you can feel that so you know which is the left and the right ear cup. They do have cables coming out of both the bottoms of the ear cups. The leather on them is fairly soft. The only problem I found with that is, is when you put them on, it's hard enough to where it doesn't create a perfect seal. So that's one issue. And the only other real complaint I have about the build quality is, you can see here that the way that they shape this is it's like, it's not the regular shape of a head. It goes up and it kind of flattens out across and then it comes back down. I have a fairly small head and in that regard, I found it ironic that I actually had to extend these so they weren't uncomfortable when I put them on so that they're not pulling down on top of my head. But other than that, these really do well. I think because you can look in the middle here and you can see that there's actually a metal band that runs all the way through. You could probably bend this to where it's more a curvature shape of your head. I didn't do that because I'm using these as an evaluation. but. Overall, as far as the look of them, they have a nice classy look. They, they have the Audio Technica logo on the side. They have a nice polished, almost like metal look on them. It is plastic. The entire things are made out of plastic other than the band that runs through the middle here. But overall, decent build quality. And they are extremely portable. They fold up and you just wrap them up, throw them in the bag and you're good to go. Another thing to note is the is the clip that you can put on your shirt or your pants or whatever. And this is where you turn on the noise cancellation and you turn it off. If you don't turn that on, then your bass and your mid range is pretty much non-existent. So with that in mind, this is, this is your noise cancellation and almost like a little mini amplifier for your headphones. And in that, it is a small AAA battery that is very easy to get in and out. And so far I've used these for several, several hours and I have not run out of battery life yet. So it does, it does get good life out of these. And one other thing to note about this, if you turn that off, you can still listen to your music. It'll be absent the bass, 
but you can listen to it. So if your battery happens to die on you, you're not just up a creek, you could still listen to things, just maybe not with the same enjoyment that you would have otherwise. One other last feature to note about the build quality is the cable is actually a 90 degree cable and it has a fairly narrow profile so it will go into cases on iPhones and things that, that have a tendency to block off the ports. So that's, that's a very nice feature. Being that these things are noise canceling headphones, we have to talk about the noise cancellation. And it's kind of interesting. The deal is these are on-ear headphones. These don't go around your ears. So with that in mind, there's inherently a little bit of noise that comes in around, so they don't seal 100% perfectly because the leather's not soft enough to really let it just suck to your ear. So with that in mind, when you put them on, you hear it's almost like a seashell type sound. So when you turn on the noise cancellation, what you get is, it's kind of bizarre and it's like any other kind of noise canceling headphones you get. It tries to block out like the lower end bass, which it does a little bit of. But what I notice is it seems to introduce like almost like a, a very faint staticky sound. So it gets rid of that low noise that's like the seashell sound, but then you have this that is happening when you, when you put it on. So in that regard, it really, it's kind of bizarre. I didn't notice that these blocked out just a ton of sound. Again, it changes like the bassy sound to like a, almost just a really quiet static sound. And for any of you who've been around since back in the day when TVs actually had static, that would, you'll know what I'm talking about. For all you uh, young kids out there, you know, just be glad you have digital now. So anyways, the noise cancellation, I, I wasn't that impressed with it, but it, you know, that's what it is. Now let's talk about the base on the ANC-1s. This is where I ended up spending a lot of time trying different genres of music to find out what my thoughts on these really were. Here's the deal. The bass is extremely, extremely accurate. It's tight and it sounds great within reason. If you go listening to anything that's like any kind of hardcore rap or anything that's got just driving bass and you're really looking for that that sub bass type stuff like anything under 100 hertz with just power, you are going to be severely disappointed with these. These aren't made for that. Now, if you get into genres such as jazz and classical where you have drums, but they're not, they're not for the driving pounding sake, it's more of the presence of the music, or you're listening to a smooth jazz guitar where they're plucking the bass strings, it sounds wonderful. It's tight, the bass is accurate, and it's fast. Again, as long as you use, use these within reason, they sound incredible. David Benoit, um, Miles Davis, any kind of jazz tunes, anything where literally it's, it's just a part of the music as opposed to being the music, then you'll get some nice sound out of these. The mids on these headphones are wonderful. I was shocked to be completely honest with you. Uh, one, of, one of the uh, people who subscribes to me on YouTube suggested a lady named Jill Scott. I turned that on and I ended up listening to several tracks. Just beautiful sounding voice in these. Again, I've mentioned Rebecca Ferguson in the past. Jason Mraz sounds fantastic on these. They really do a nice job bringing in that smooth vocal range and giving you that feeling of them being there, like being at a live performance. Really nice stuff. And if you are listening to any live recordings, you feel like you're a part of the crowd. I mean, it's that good. And then when you get into the treble, again, it's just buttery smooth. And I, I would even put these on par with maybe my Audio Technicas and even some of the Buyer Dynamic Premiums that I've listened to that really do a nice job bringing in the presence without being harsh or, or overly sibilant or anything like that, just or even sibilant at all. I mean, these just do a wonderful job bringing across that sound in a way that just involves you in the music. I mean, these are the kind of headphones that you could literally kick back, close your eyes, and enjoy just a nice, relaxed, relaxed listening session. So again, overall, the sound quality of these is phenomenal as long as you keep them within their, their ballpark. If you start going into genres that these don't belong in, you'll be very upset with these. But 
Overall, I've got to say, I was very impressed with the sound quality of these. Very audiophile type, and it's consistent across the range of the volume. So coming down from low, you do lose a little bit on the lower end of the volume. But as you bring the volume up, it definitely gets more involved and more present, but it's never unbalanced. Like you never feel like the mids are taking over or the highs are taking over. It's very balanced. It's just that you get more presence as you get into that moderate listening level. And that is one thing I very much liked about these. They were a wonderful sounding set of headphones. And I have to mention, Anything that I'm talking about this is with that switch turned on. When you turn it off, you lose all that. It, sound comes through, but it's not the same type of sound. Now, let's talk about power. I use these specifically with computers, my iPhone, my new um, Lumia 920, and it sounds wonderful with them. They didn't need any amping, and to be honest, if you tried to hook an amp up to these, chances are it would try and push them too hard and you would get a lot of muddy sound. So I would say stick with the internal amp that comes with the thing with the battery pack, and you should be good to go. They do a nice job with that. Let's talk about the noise isolation. Being that these just sit on top of your ears, I, I think there's a little bit, there, definitely it doesn't block out a lot of noise just having them on, but when you turn on the, uh, the noise canceling, then again, you get some of that. But let's, uh, let's do a little test. Wow, if I can untangle it. Let's do a little test. I'm going to turn this up to about a moderate volume and you'll get to hear, I've actually got a microphone on right now, so you'll get to hear this being just, you know, half a foot away. So currently I'm listening to A Long Walk Groove by Jill Scott at about a moderate listening volume, so here you go. So again, with that in mind, this has some nice bass lines as it walk up and down a bass guitar and some beautiful smooth jazz vocals in there, but you, that, there you get to hear the noise isolation or the noise leakage that comes from these. I hope you enjoyed this review of the ATH ANC-1 noise canceling headphones by Audio-Technica. I'd love to thank Audio-Technica for letting me uh, evaluate these headphones again nice job on the sound I wish the noise cancellation was a touch better but you know at a hundred dollars and maybe if you can get them even less these are a nice little carry along please give me a thumbs up if you found this review helpful and you know subscribe to my YouTube channel I'll be bringing you more reviews here in the near future I have several that I need to get out there and you know go check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash headphone review HQ and what else am I trying to say? If you plan on buying these or if you want to check them out, please use my link below as it helps me bring you more and more of these reviews as time goes on. And as always, I appreciate your time and look forward to bringing you more here in the near future. Thanks.